Hi there. Welcome to Congregation Agrud Shalom's This Week in Jewish History. Happy belated 4th of July to everyone. Hopefully you had a festive holiday celebrating America's independence. And as we are still in the spirit of the day, I'd like to spend a few minutes learning about the American Jewish community at the time of independence, before, during, and after. As some may know, the first community on these shores was established in 1654, when 23 Portuguese Jews fled from Brazil and arrived in what was then New Amsterdam, later to become New York. New Amsterdam was a small Dutch trading post at the lower tip of Manhattan Island, a map which you see on the bottom of your screens. These 23 Jews established Congregation She'erith Israel, the Spanish and Portuguese Congregation of Manhattan. Later on, they were able to build their first synagogue building at Mill Street. You can see a basic depiction of it on the lower left hand of your screen. They also established a cemetery downtown. The congregation went through many stops and buildings and now rests in a beautiful building on 70th Street and Central Park West on New York's Upper West Side. When the revolution broke out in 1775, there were between 1,500 and 2,500 Jews in all the colonies. One of the largest and most prominent communities was that of Newport, Rhode Island. They were heavily involved in the shipping industry and are most famous for their synagogue, the Turo Synagogue, built in 1763. With the outbreak of hostilities between the colonists and the British, a large portion of the community supported the revolutionary cause and fled north during the revolution to Leicester, Massachusetts. Interestingly, the community's leader, Isaac Turo, was loyal to the British. He too left Newport and wandered to different locations. He eventually settled in Jamaica, where he was able to live out the rest of his life under British rule. When the British occupied New York in 1776, Congregation She'erith Israel, under the leadership of Reverend Gershom Mendes Seisas, deeply supportive of the revolution, fled to Stratford, Connecticut, not far from where we are here in Stamford. Jews supported and fought for both sides during the war. The most well-known patriot is probably Chaim Solomon, who helped finance the revolution. His portrait is to the left. Lesser-known patriots, however, were such men as Isaac Moses of Philadelphia, who funded ships that harassed British shipping and helped break the British naval blockade of the colonies. Or Reuben Edding of Baltimore, who was taken prisoner by the British. When they realized he was Jewish, they decided to torture him by only serving him pork. Under great self-sacrifice, Edding refused to eat this in the entire time he was held in captivity. The American Revolution changed the landscape throughout the United States, including among the Jewish communities of the country. As a result of the Revolution, formerly minor communities such as Philadelphia and Charleston rose to prominence. Many Jews became wealthy both during and after the war, and interestingly, communities throughout the land were so inspired by the democratic cause that in the years following, they adopted synagogue constitutions to follow in the footsteps of the constitution adopted by the states. And so, Jews have played an important role since our nation's birth, and so aside from all the other reasons, that too should give us reason to celebrate. Happy belated Independence Day to all.